Supporters of former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat stage a massive rally over the weekend in Bangkok. 10,000 people showed up to protest the Constitution. It ended peacefully, but Thaksin supporters say they'll be back for more. It was the biggest rally since April when the government imposed a state of emergency for almost two weeks. Now, Thai stocks have surged since then, and one analyst says that the worst is over. Now let's uh, go to Dan Ten Kate, a reporter standing by in Bangkok. And uh, Dan, we saw the protests over the uh, weekend. There could be some developments in, in terms of uh, discussions with the prime minister. Well, we're hearing today that the prime minister might invite one of the key red shirt leaders to interview him on his weekly talk show, which is broadcast across the, the country. So that might be a. Uh, um, a, a way the government's reaching out, trying to start a dialogue with the protesters. Um, it's not confirmed whether uh, the red shirts will accept this offer. Um, they're definitely trying to put more pressure on the government uh, through the rally uh, last weekend, and, and they have about three more rallies planned, trying to build momentum uh, to eventually kick this government out again. Yeah, well, well, we haven't seen much reaction on the stock markets to these uh, protests. In fact, uh, Thai stocks are the, have had their best uh, quarter in the second quarter in a decade. It's uh, even outperformed Japan and Australia. What's the uh, outlook on stocks when you talk to analysts and market watchers? Well, um, basically, brokers still think that the, the market is trading at a discount relative to other uh, Asian markets. It's uh, got the lowest uh, P/E ratio um, in Asia, uh, second to Pakistan. So, um, while the market has rallied quite a bit, quite a bit more um, than other markets in, in the past uh, three to six months, uh, it remains to be seen what drivers will take the market forward. Um, while last year the, the protest and, and the global financial crisis might have brought down the markets a little too far. So this rally now is sort of compensating for that, but we're still about 20, 25 percent uh, below where we were at this point uh, last year. So, so moving forward, um, many people think um, you know there's not too much more room to go up. Yeah, 25 at 30 percent down. That's uh, pretty much the story for a lot of markets ac across the Asia PEC uh, from last year's highs. Thank you for that, Denton Kate, a reporter in Bangkok.